Let's see about using the Photoshop RAW plugin to eliminate the noise in an image. I want you to open this one here. It's 3488. That is a blue moon. It was taken in January of 2010. And the rarity of having two full moons in January is like once every dozen or so years. And they do say that if you see a blue moon in January, you're going to have good luck that year. So anyway, I had to take a photograph of this. It was very cold. It was below freezing. And it was partially cloudy. So it's not the best of images, but it helps demonstrate what we're going to talk about here. If I begin blowing it up with my zoom tool right here, you will notice eventually we get into the noise. This stuff right there. It looks sandy. It's the attempt of the sensor to pick up light information in low light. It's the grain of the film in traditional film, whatever you want to call it. It's not that difficult to get rid of. We are in our basic area over here right now, but we need to move into our detail area right here. Right down here is noise reduction. You have several areas. You have luminance and then detail and contrast, and you have color and color detail. All we really need for an image like this, if you do night photography, this is going to be easy. All we really need is luminance. If I'm working in color and color detail, it's because I'm working with an image that has a lot of different areas, like maybe faces, facial features, or just areas that have detail. Night skies, with the exception of the stars, there's no detail. It should be one nice, smooth color. So if I go into luminance right here and begin moving that to the right, watch the sky. I'm not watching the number. I'm looking over here, too. It goes away. That's pretty cool. Now, as for detail, this image was taken over the course of about five seconds. And these branches, as you can see, kind of blew in the wind just a little bit. If I take detail all the way to the right, it enhances those areas. I don't need any detail at all because I'm working with large areas. I'm going to take that down. I don't need any contrast either. Color? Won't make any difference on this one because we're dealing with large areas. But as you can see, all it's really doing is trying to enhance the areas where the blur occurred. So I'm going to take that all the way down this way too. So in this case, night photography, eliminating that area up there of all that sand is just simply luminance right here. That's pretty cool. And it's very easy too. There you go. On to the next.